Hey all, Flame here. Not gonna bother with like a proper introduction because it's only a like ramble video rather than a more structured thing. But what I want to talk about is a few things like in particular pre-orders for digital content, season passes, DLC, that kind of jazz. And the reason that's on my mind right now is I've been looking through the PlayStation Store on the PS3 and I've seen they've got the pre-orders up for the new Call of Duty game, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And this, this isn't a pre-order for a physical copy of the game. This is a pre-order for a digital download of the game. And that raises the question of what is the point in pre-ordering a digital game? Because unlike a physical pre-order, especially for something like Call of Duty that might well sell out in your local sh like shop, digital downloads don't sell out. Unless they try to put a cap on it or something, but I'd rather not give my ideas there. But what that does is that gives me a very cynical viewpoint that is probably quite a realistic assumption in that the publisher, and this isn't exclusively a Call of Duty thing, it's just an example I noticed, is wanting to secure money from the consumer before the review embargoes go up so before reviews are able to be published and that, they want to make sure they've got your money certain. So basically they want to take your money before you've had a chance to see a critical view of the game that you're buying. Because fair enough, like, reviews aren't everything, but at least they're from an outside perspective, outside the company, and even, like, people on YouTube uploading videos of the game. Like, you should have a chance to see an outside perspective of the game from someone not involved in marketing it or publishing it before you hand over your money, really. But to go back to the Call of Duty thing for a minute, to make the problem worse, you've got either a pre-order for a standard digital copy for £49.99, which for those outside the UK who might not know what that comes to, that's a hell of a lot of money for a new game as it is. Because most new games would sell for about thirty nine ninety nine, and a lot of shops tend to lower on the recommended retail price anyway. So you're talking about ten fifteen pound more than a normal game release, which is inexcusable for a digital release, to be quite frank. Or for a special edition of the game, bearing in mind this is a completely digital special edition of the game, you can pay eighty four pound ninety nine, which is flat out fucking extortion to be quite frank and you might be wondering what is so great about this special edition that it justifies costing that much more than a normal copy of the game well if we have a look at the listing on playstation network the offer here is you get the full game download you get a season pass which i'll go into in a bit more which is for four action pack dlc map packs atlas gorge bonus multiplayer map and then like a few other bits and pieces that are all downloadable. The first offender here is the bonus multiplayer map that's available right away. Because what that means is that they haven't put that in the base game itself. They're pushing you to take like this special edition when they obviously had enough development time and development budget to be able to make it before the game comes out. So it should be in the game. And doing it this way is literally fleecing you out more money. But also the season pass thing. We see things like this all the time, but they're not available yet when it's on a season pass. The season pass is, it means you pay now, you get this season pass and you'll download those extra pieces of the content when they become available. So basically they want your money from this, not just before a critical eye can get to it, but before you know what these map packs play like or look like, at all. These could be basically anything. They want you to pay for them. They're probably not even made yet, but for some reason they think it's appropriate to take your money for that. They think they're deserving of their money without even showing you what you're paying for. And well, yeah, I don't doubt that they will deliver for DLC packs as they promise. That's not exactly the point. Any new piece of content they offer that they ask for money for should be sell itself to you on its own merits from what it offers in itself. You shouldn't have to pay more in advance or be pressured into paying more in advance on the hope that it's something you want. And I'd argue this is especially the case when you're asking for a figure as high as £84.99 
which is a hell of a lot of money for people to drop in one hit. And that actually makes me think that digital games in general, when they're asking even the £49.99, is preposterous when you consider that you're actually getting an arguably inferior product because unlike a physical game where when you're done with it you can either give it to someone else to play or you can trade it in and get some of your money back that's not the case with digital games so when you pair that up with the fact that they haven't got the logistical costs that physical games have there's no reason why they should be full priced I can understand not wanting to undercut the physical market too much, but there is absolutely no reason whatsoever why a digital game should cost as much as or even more in a lot of cases than a disc in a box. But to go back to the DLC concept in general, given I kind of covered that earlier, I dislike the idea of DLC being ready to buy when the game comes out or even DLC being packaged as a pre-order bonus or a special edition bonus. Because that kind of shows that they've cut back development on the product itself so they can sell you that content separately to get that little bit more money out of you, which is a really anti-consumer practice, to be honest. I'm fine with the concept of DLC in general when it's done right, in fact, there's a few games that I've played that I actually wish had DLC because I'd like to play a bit more. Like I think I've mentioned in the past with Sonic Generations, though, I kind of wish that game had a few DLC levels after the game came out. But my problem is when it's obviously being used as a tool to sell you something that, before the concept of DLC existed, would have been part of the main game. DLC is supposed to be a bonus as opposed to a missing chunk. I think it should have the same quality production level or higher as the content in the main game so for example if this dlc pack is three levels it should be up to the same high quality as three levels from the main product because i've known cases before where post-launch dlc is rushed together by a b team just to get that extra few quid after launch But yeah, this isn't like an inherently bad platform. It's just something that's very easily open to abuse. And that's something I think consumers should be more aware of because quite often I hear people like just pre-ordering stuff so they get this extra map or whatever without giving it a second thought. When in actuality, that's only encouraging this kind of anti-consumer bollocks further. Because if they keep on getting away with it, they'll know that consumers are blind to this and they'll do it again. And they'll do it again, and they'll just keep on printing money from selling you things that you should have in the first place. And that's not even going into the crap that Capcom pulled a while ago with one of their games having DLC that was locked on the disc itself. So like you already had the content, but you had to pay more to use something that you'd already bought. And this is the kind of thing that needs discussion. So by all means, if you've got any thoughts on how pre-orders or DLC and season passes, all them kind of things that I've been discussing could be put in without screwing people over as much. By all means, talk about that in the comments. I'm curious to hear other perspectives on this, actually. But for now, I am the Flame Claw. Thank you for listening to me waffle on for like nine minutes straight. I'll see you all soon. Bye.